so guys we're back here now that we have already rendered we open up our um, after effects okay go to our project file all you just need to do is right click and go to import under import click on file and look for the file where you saved it now this is one of the ones i've done so i'm just going to go to the one we just did it's called stage, it's stage. Oh, hold on stage yep then we we'll go to the stage render, select the very first one. With that, though you can select any other one, but it's best to select the very first one. Zero, zero, zero. Then click on JPEG sequence. Make sure you click on this. This is what makes everything a moving file. If you don't click on this and you import just one, it's going to bring it as one image. So since this is a series of image, click on JPEG sequence, click on import, and then um, you're here. Now, when you have it here, you can see it's just one file. Assuming you try and come here and try and import. And you select this without clicking on this and the import it comes as just one jpeg file okay but with this one now you have it as a sequence file you can even see that we have the 000 to 090 all right so bring this one of the um tricks i use is not basically a trick though instead of going to composition and creating a new composition when i import something like this out and i already have the size and i want my composition to follow the same size what i do is just select this and drop it on the composition icon here. This is actually a composition icon. You click on this, it creates a new composition for you. But when you select the image and you drop it on the composition itself, it creates the composition and it drops the image into the timeline. You know, it's part of one of the fix, uh, fast and fix thing to do. All right, so basically, that is what I have here. Now you can now see that I have this in my timeline and I play it out and uh, the whole animation goes about. That's why the fact that it's actually a series of uh, images. So basically, this is how you bring in your sequence file down here. Um, I hope this will solve a lot of problems for people that are having issues, you know, working with stuff like this. So guys, I'll see you later. Bye.